This video is going to be geared to those of you on testosterone replacement therapy and will help to clear up some of the crazy arguments I'm seeing online regarding how to calculate your TRT dose. And I will potentially show you that even you might be getting this wrong, so stay tuned. I get a ton of messages and emails from guys who are having a difficult time calculating what their dose should be per injection. And surprisingly, I see a ton of arguments online regarding how to calculate these doses, oftentimes by guys who clear to have completely forgotten basic elementary school math. So you're going to humor me here. We're going to go over this with visuals to ensure that you'll be able to easily do this on your own. And then it can also be used to clear up some of these arguments. Okay, so before going on to how to calculate the dose, I want to review the different types of frequencies of injection. Okay, because even something this simple has caused some of the biggest fights I've seen on online TRT forums and stuff, maybe with the exception of E2. All right, so the first one is weekly shots. If you're injecting 150 milligrams a week, for example, it means you're loading up, you know, 150 milligrams of testosterone into a syringe. That's going to be your injection for the day to last you for the full week, right? And not that I'd ever recommend weekly shots, uh, but that's besides the point and maybe a topic for a different video, okay? So next up, we're going to move to twice weekly shots. Now, this would imply choosing two days a week, such as Mondays and Thursdays, right? Or Tuesdays and Fridays, or Wednesdays and Saturdays, or Thursdays and Sundays, right? Any two days of the week spaced apart as equally as possible, okay? And by the way, it's a misconception to think that, oh, you know, if my injection day is Monday, I would have to inject Monday morning, and then three and a half days later, which makes Thursday evening. You don't need to do that, all right? As long as you space them apart reasonably well, you're fine, nothing to worry about. So since you're injecting twice per week, you then take your weekly dose, such as the 150 milligrams a week, and divide that by two. That means you would be injecting 75 milligrams per injection, right? So two injections, 75 milligrams equals 150 milligrams a week. You guys know this. Let's now move on to three days a week injections, such as Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Since you're injecting three times a week, you would divide your weekly injection by three, right? So the case of 150 milligrams for dividing it by three, it results in three 50 milligram shots per injection, right? Or per week. So here's where the arguments start. Some people seem to be completely and utterly unable to differentiate between the three times a week and every other day. And no, they're not the same thing at all, okay? Three times a week means that every single week you're injecting three times no matter what. Okay, you're normally choosing the same three days per week, such as, again, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you know, or Tuesdays, Thursdays, or Saturdays, or Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, okay? Now, the difference between that and every other day shots is that with every other day shots, you're injecting every second day. So what this means is you're injecting on one day, and the next day is an off day. And the day after is an injection day, and the following day is an off day, okay? Now, hopefully most of you can immediately spot the differences between the two, but I swear there are some guys on online forums who just can't seem to wrap their brains around this, and, and I've seen insults being thrown at people, myself included, over something as simple and silly as this like basic grade three elementary school math, okay? so. Humor me a sec, let's take a minute to clarify this and then I'll go on to explain how to actually calculate your dose, all right? So the main argument I hear from these guys is they're saying that when they're doing every other day shots, it's that it's the same thing as injecting four times a week, which it's not, okay? The correct answer is 3.5. This is where most of the people who clearly slept through grade three math will then say, well, you know, if I'm injecting on Monday, that implies that I'm doing, you know, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and Sunday, so there's my four days. Well, yeah, I agree. The first week is four times. 
But now let's continue on to the following week to see what happens next. Because since your last injection day was on Sunday, well, that means your next injection days are going to be Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, which is three shots. And we can't count the Monday because the Monday is when the cycle starts over, right? Like, like the Monday now becomes your day one. So as you can see from this graphic here, how many shots have you taken over a two-week period? The answer is seven. How do we arrive at seven? Well, we're injecting half the time, 50% of the time, half, like half. You know, like the fraction half, what's half of 14? Seven, seven shots in a two week period. So to calculate the number of shots per week, well, now we need half of seven. What's half of seven? 3.5. You will be injecting 3.5 times per week. One week will be four shots. The next week will be three shots. The following week will be four shots. And the week after that will be three shots and so on. Okay. You take the average shots per week and it's 3.5. So this implies that if you were to take your 150 milligram per week dose and divide that by 3.5, it brings you to roughly 43 milligrams per shot, which as you can see is really different from the 50 milligram per shot that you would be getting on a three day a week injection schedule. Right? Okay. So say you were going to take, 40 milligram per injection, and you're doing that every, you're doing every other day shots, and you're trying to determine what your total weekly amount is, you would multiply that amount by 3.5. So 40 milligram multiplied by 3.5 makes 140 milligrams a week. Now this would be different if you were doing three days a week shots because 40 multiplied by three is only 120 milligrams a week. See the difference? Okay. Now, many of you are probably watching this right now and laughing hysterically at me, and I'm sorry, okay, that I even need to explain this. But if you'd see some of the arguments in regards to this basic calculation, your brain would explode. I mean, I've posted calendar graphics just like this, showing that there are clearly seven shots in a two-week period, which implies 3.5 shots per week. They continue to insist that it's four shots or three shots or who knows whatever shots. Now, four shots a week means you're choosing the same four days per week to give yourself a shot, such as Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, right? So you could be choosing the same four days per week every single week. So if you're giving yourself 40 milligram shot four days a week, I guess what? It's 40 milligrams multiplied by four which is 160 milligrams a week. Now, if any of you guys are watching and have some, somehow gone to a special school for math that I somehow missed out on, and you believe that this basic calculation that I've done is somehow um, flawed or inaccurate, I would absolutely love for you to comment down here and explain the way you do your math, okay? And a big shout out, by the way, to JD for insisting that I clarify this issue with a video because he's had his fill trying to explain this to people and frankly, so am I. Um, one last thing before we move on to how to calculate your dose. I've been told by a number of people that there's a popular HRT clinic out there that starts with the letter M and ends with hormones. The physicians at this clinic, who also appear to have slept through grade three math, have been insisting to their patients that their four day a week protocol, which apparently they use as a, you know, cookie cutter protocol prescribed to everyone, like every other HRT clinic I know of, while completely ignoring, you know, fundamental factors like sex hormone binding globulin levels and other critical important things that apparently that's more stable than every other day shots. Let's look at the evidence just for a sec, okay? Four day a week shots implies you are choosing the same days per week, right? Such as, um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay. What do you notice here? Well, on some injection days, they have this off day separating them, but you inevitably get to a point where you will have two injection days back to back. Therefore, the pattern is inconsistent. On the other hand, the pattern for every other day shots is about as consistent as one can get on off one off on off because the pattern always stays the same so please you physicians at mm, hormones can you contact me and explain how a four day per week shot schedule is somehow more consistent than an every other day shot schedule 
And can you maybe consider not telling your patients this anymore? Pretty please? Okay. Let's now move on to how to calculate your dose. And I'm going to make this so simple for you. You got no idea, right? Let's assume the oil you are using is 200 milligram per one ml. Let's display it like this, where the one the ml is on the top, the milligrams are on the bottom, okay? Which results in one over 200. Now let's assume you know what your weekly dose is in milligrams, but you're trying to figure out how much that equals to in ml or milliliters, okay? So let's assume in this example that your weekly dose is 130 milligrams a week. Let's create another fraction right beside it and put the 130 milligrams on the bottom, just like we did for the 200 milligrams, right? Milligrams are always on the bottom. And we can see on the, that we see on the left-hand side. So in this graphic, we now know that the oil is 200 milligram per ml. And we're trying to determine how many ml it would it be for 130 milligrams. So we're gonna put an X on the ml side as this is the value we're trying to solve for, okay? So what you want to do here is you want to cross multiply the values that you do know and then divide by the remaining value. So in this case, we're going to cross multiply the 130 with the one, which is obviously 130, and then we're going to divide by 200. So you'll have the problem properly displayed in front of you in a manner in which you're trying to accomplish it and what, what, properly understand it. And then using a calculator, you divide the 130 by 200, which leaves you with 0 0.6 ml. So you'd be injecting 0.6 ml per week to get your 130 milligrams per week. Now, in order to determine how many ml per injection, you divide the num that by the number of days per week that you're inject injecting. So say, for example, you're injecting um, three days a week, right? You divide that 0.6 ml by three, and you're left with 0.2 ml per shot. Easy, right? Okay. Now let's do it a different way. Using the same 200 milligram per ml oil, Let's assume you know how much you need to take in ml or milliliters, but you're trying to figure out how much that works out to in milligrams. Let's assume your weekly ml is 0 0.75. We're going to use the exact same approach with the 1 ml over the 200 on the left side. But since you know your weekly ml amount and you're trying to figure out how many milligrams that makes, we're going to put the 0 0.75 ml on the top which is the same place where the ML goes on the other side, right? And now the bottom value is what we're trying to solve for, which becomes an X. So we're trying to solve for X. So once again, same principle. We're gonna cross multiply the values that we do know and then divide by the remaining value to get the answer. So in this case, we're gonna multiply the 200 by 0 0.75, which using a calculator, you quickly see a result of 150 and divided by one, which obviously remains one. So 150 milligrams a week would be your weekly amount. And yes, I know some of you are asking why I'm doing it this way, because the one is irrelevant. Yes, I get it. But again, this works only if they know how many milligram per one ml, because there's some vials that will say something like a thousand milligrams per five ml, and some guys just can't do the math, okay? So let's break that one down real quick, okay? Five ml over a thousand milligrams. Say I want to inject 135 milligrams. I'll put the 135 milligrams at the bottom, which is on the same level as the milligrams on the other side. And the top part now becomes an X, right? Which is what we want to solve for. Same approach as before, nothing changes. We're gonna cross multiply the 135 by five, which is 675, and then divide by a thousand using a calculator if you need to, which works out to 0 0.675 ml. So in this example, if your vial said you had 1,000 milligram per 5 ml and you wanted to inject 135 milligrams, you'd be loading up 0 0.675 ml or roughly 0 0.68 ml in your syringe. And using this method, you can wind up with whatever concentration in the world you want and you're still going to be able to calculate it, okay? Let's concoct, uh, let's invent a concentration that's 298 milligram per 2.3 ml and you want to inject 50 milligrams. Same principle. The 2.3 ml goes on the top, the 298 milligram goes on the bottom. And since you know you want it 50 milligrams in your injection, you put the 50 milligrams at the bottom on the right side, just as the 298 milligrams is on the bottom side, on the left side. And now we're solving for the part we don't know, which is labeled as X. So once again, same approach. We're gonna cross multiply the values we do know, and then divide by the remaining value. 
So 50 multiplied by 2.3 is 115. Again, you can use a calculator. And then divide that by the remaining value of 298, which is roughly 0.39 ml. So using this method, you can calculate your weekly milligrams or weekly milliliters or ml by the number of shots per week to determine how much it works out to per injection. Simple. So if any of you have an idea for a video you'd like me to do, share it in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, please give us a like, click the subscribe button, because I've got lots and lots of great guests lined up that I'm certain you will enjoy learning from. So click that notification bell so you'll be notified anytime a new video gets posted. And I really hope to see you guys soon.